Hi, my name is Michelle Alva, your Mindset Energy Coach, Sex, Love, and Intimacy Guide. Today I'm going to talk to you about the programming that we give ourselves throughout the day by telling people how we feel. Are you a person that tells people, I have anxiety, I don't sleep well at night, I have back pain, I have jaw tension, I have a low libido, I get constipated. Do you tell people that throughout the day? Comment down below, what's your diagnosis? What are the labels that you put and you repeat again and again and again? And maybe you're a person that's looking for a solution. So you go around and tell people about that, looking for a solution. Did you know that every time you repeat something to yourself about what you think you have, it actually reinforces what you have? I learned this from a couple of different teachers in energy psychology, quantum, mechanics, mindset, energy change processes, how we are literally programming ourselves all day depending on the thoughts that we have. And we have like 80,000 thoughts a day, depending on what you, know, what you do. This is why meditation is so important. And this whole purpose for me today is to make you aware of your thoughts, that they influence your physiology, and they influence how you feel and how you express your genes your genetic expression, the dialogue that happens throughout your day. So a way for you to break that pattern is every single time you sit on the toilet today and every day for the rest of your life, because I know you're gonna do that, you're gonna assess what am I thinking about and you're gonna shift to gratitude. You're gonna be grateful that maybe all you did was be more self-aware and you're gonna use bathroom time as a time to also process and release whatever it is that you're holding on to. And so use bathroom time as an opportunity to release your emotions, to not only process what's inside you, but process the energy of the emotions that a lot of us are stuck in patterns of shame, patterns of guilt, patterns of self-betrayal, inauthenticity, some of us have been raised in ways that have led us to think that we are bad. I personally was raised Catholic and I guilted myself because I lost my virginity at such a young age and I felt so much shame. God didn't tell me to do this, neither did my mom, but the way that I was raised and with the, with the commandments and just the rules of what you're supposed to do, I was very confused as a teenager and it led me to associate shame with sex. And hence, we have this opportunity in our lives to live light and free and clear of the weight of the past. However, many of us have no idea that that chatty Kathy or that Debbie Downer inside is influencing our bodies to stay stuck in this frozen state where maybe you're ashamed that something happened to you when you were six, seven, eight years old and you haven't told your parents, you're still keeping secrets inside, I would love to know what's coming up for you because I'm here to let you know that I work with people that have had sexual trauma and chronic pain and sometimes people, my clients, are holding on to things that happened to them when they were 14 years old, when they were four years old, and they don't even know that they're holding on to guilt or shame or abandonment, or anger, or sadness. And I'm on a mission to awaken us to an approach that actually works. So I'm here to let you know if you just take painkillers, the painkillers, the drugs, while they're gonna make a lot of money for the pharmaceutical companies, they're not gonna help you to solve and heal at the root cause of your pain. And going to psychology, psychologists helps you to shift your behaviors and talk therapy doesn't address that chronic pain that's in your pelvis or in your low back or in your jaw. And I have a background as a physical therapist for a lot of years, 25 years by now since I got my degree. And I learned that it's not enough to just do physical therapy or chiropractics. We really do benefit from an approach that teaches us how to be our own processor of the energy of those stuck emotions. Therefore, I created the Alva Method, activate love, vibrate abundance, because when you go into fear mode, you're not in love mode. 
and you're in lack mode whenever you're in fear mode. You cannot feel the flow of abundance when you're in fear mode. It's impossible. And you're also not gonna be able to feel your sexual energy, your creative energy, which is gonna create the new you. And so I am here as a resource to empower individuals today, right now, with this very simple technique. You deciding to have something different in your life is step number one, saying yes to the unknown. That unknown, feeling lighter, feeling clear, feeling more pleasure, being more at peace with yourself. If you're one of those people that are ready to say yes, to the unknown feeling awesome feeling that you may not know yet, I'm here to let you know that you can release 40 years of chronic pain in your bladder, like some of my clients have. You can release the chronic shoulder tension or neck tension that you've been holding for 20 years. It can happen, everyone. I'm here to let you know that miracles happen when you decide to be the miracle for yourself and learn the ALBA method activate love, vibrate abundance. If you want more information, reach out to me. If you're ready, if you're a heaven yes, I am so ready to do this. I'm ready to show up 100% for myself. Even though I may dissociate and check out at times, I will help you to come back to the present moment. It's okay if you are so nervous of feeling amazing. I used to live in chronic pain for 14 years of my life. After that first sexual experience that was very traumatizing to me, I held chronic tension in my pelvis. My whole body was very tense. I felt like I was walking around with all this dirt over me, all this gray cloud over me, and it was called shame. Today, I feel very vibrant and radiant, and I feel so much love that I just wanna keep on sharing my message because I witness miracles happen to my clients. And then they tell me, Michelle, where were you? Why didn't the doctor recommend this to me? Where were you after, you know, I've had clients that had to get their organs removed because they were in pain, like the uterus for some women, where doctors say, you know what, if you get your uterus out, that'll be your solution and you're gonna feel better. But then they regret that that happened because they're still in pain. So I'm no longer gonna keep it all to myself. I'm gonna start revealing more of these stories of my actual clients that while they may be personal, um, I, have, uh, I have authority to share that, that information, um, that I really want us to wake up and realize how powerful we are more than ever. Because I'm sick and tired of people feeling sick and tired of this system that is really not designed maximally to benefit us. We're 99% made of energy, so it behooves us to work in a way that is actually teaching us how to command our energy, harness our energy, and a lot of that energy is about also healing our sexual energy. Reach out to me if you wanna learn more. I have events this month, so go onto my link tree and you can learn more about those live events. And I also offer Zoom classes, one-on-one -on -one private Zoom sessions. And if you wanna learn more about this approach, if you wanna integrate these approaches into your traditional uh, physical therapy world or healthcare, you know, life coach, psychologist, you can integrate the ALBA method beautifully into any coaching practice and be more able to serve your population as a whole human being, not just the physical body. And I'm so grateful for this. And teach them about how to harness their sexual energy. You don't have to touch them. You don't have to do anything sexually with them to assist them to harness this energy. Ah, I'm so excited to be out and just sharing and so grateful for the results that people are having. My clients have the greatest night's sleep after they have a session with me. My clients release chronic pain they've been holding for years. My clients get to release the baggage of the old worn out them that they used to be, that they're sick and tired of being, and they get to connect deeply to their authentic desires. They get to learn how to live in emotional integrity, how to be sovereign, how to release codependency, and dive deeper into self-love. Who doesn't want that, right? We attract what we are, we don't get what we want, and so the ALBA method really teaches you how to deepen your intimacy with yourself, how to be your own best friend, your greatest lover, and your biggest cheerleader, and how to really tap into the magic of manifestation and attracting 
whatever it is that you wish to create and harnessing that amazing imagination of yours, living in a state of wonder, full of awe and curious about life. And this is what I wish for our world. I know there's a lot of suffering going on. I know that things might feel eerie, but what I have witnessed is that when we decide to see heaven as earth, that heaven is on earth, our whole life changes and you can create whatever you wish to create. So if you're inspired and you wanna create an awesome kick-ass life with me as your guide facilitator, I am 100% committed to you to seeing you through that. Reach out to me and I can't wait to tell you more. Thank you.